All right, thank you, Sean. Well, pet owners in Vermont could be digging deeper into their pockets next time they pay a visit to the vet. That's because veterinarians may be dealing with stricter tax regulations. Local 22 Spencer Conlin looked into this for us, and Spencer, this comes down to some confusion over what exactly is on the books. That's right, Lauren and Glenn. The tax department is moving towards clarifying which veterinary supplies are exempt under the state's sales and use tax. Right now, medical supplies for agricultural animals, including the horses, are the only items exempt from such taxes. The Vermont Veterinary Association says guidelines provided by the state in 2010 led vets to believe certain supplies are exempt from taxation. These supplies are described as items consumed or disposed of after a limited number of uses, which have direct medical use. Things like medications, disposable supplies used during operations, amongst other items. As a result of those guidelines in 2010, the tax department believes many veterinarians did not pay taxes on these items, but should have under state law. A proposal being considered right now under the Golden Dome aims to clear up any confusion. It would officially add pharmaceuticals and other goods used to diagnose and treat farm animals and domestic pets to the list of items that are exempt from use in sales tax. Veterinarians argue though without the exemption service costs will become too overbearing for Vermonters. About 70 percent of people in the state own pets. I think this is dangerous for a lot of, of people who are already living on the margins in this state. It does, at the end of the day, um, make a lot of sense to me to make sure we're clarifying it for their purposes, as well as making sure we're not unfairly taxing the consumer at the end result. Taxes on these items will be collected in May, should there be no action taken on this proposal, but no back taxes will be collected. Lauren?